our bodies are home to trillions of microorganisms. These microbes found on and in our bodies are collectively known as our microbiota or microbiome. Microbes start colonizing our bodies right from birth. A full-fledged microbial ecosystem develops within a few years. There are 10 times more microorganisms than human cells in our bodies. We often associate microbes with diseases, but microbes play an important role in our health too. Here are 5 ways our microbiome helps us. Protection Our indigenous microbiota provides us protection against invading pathogens by competing for space and nutrition. In addition, our microbiota produces various antimicrobial compounds against pathogens. It also stimulates the host to produce antimicrobial compounds. This is why your doctor prescribes probiotics to you when you visit with an upset stomach. Probiotics are beneficial bacteria. If probiotics colonize your stomach, pathogens won't. Imbalance or disturbance of your indigenous microbiota may cause various diseases like inflammatory bowel disease, bacterial vaginosis, liver cirrhosis, gastric and colorectal cancer. Nutrition Our microbiome codes for 150 times more genes than those encoded by human genome. Thus, our microbiota can perform various functions which we can't. For instance, our gut microbiota is able to degrade dietary fibers which we can't. This provides us with significant amount of energy and nutrients like short-chain fatty acids. Gut microbiota also produces and provides vitamin D to the host. One study showed that oral microbiota is required to convert dietary nitrate to biologically active nitrite. Our gut microbiota is an essential part of our digestive system. In fact, the gut microbiome of a lean person is different from the gut microbiome of an obese person. In a study, when obese mice were transplanted with gut microbiome from lean mice, the obese mice lost weight even when they were kept on the same diet. Development of our immune system Our microbiota plays an important role in development of our immune system. Studies involving mice devoid of microbiota, so-called jump-free mice, have shown that these mice have poorly developed spleens, lymph nodes and lymphoid tissues. They even have lesser number of plasma cells, the cells which secrete antibodies. Allergies Several studies have proposed the microflora hypothesis. This hypothesis suggests that reduced microbial exposure in western countries due to processed food and extensive antibiotic use results in an underdeveloped microbiota. This immature microbiota delays proper maturation of the immune system and development of immunological tolerance. This leads to allergies. Thus, a mature and diverse microbiome can prevent allergies. Circadian Rhythm or Biological Clock Life on Earth is governed by circadian rhythms or biological clocks. Human biological clock is in accordance with the light, dark, day and night cycle caused by Earth's rotation. This biological clock controls our metabolism and behavior. Similarly, our gut microbiota follows a circadian rhythm too. Circadian rhythm of our microbiota consists of oscillations in composition and function and is controlled by host feeding rhythms. In turn, gut microbiota controls circadian rhythm in intestinal epithelial cells. Thus, the host and microbiota regulate each other's biological clocks. If our feeding times are disturbed, as in case of jet lag or irregular eating habits, circadian rhythm of our microbiota is also disturbed. Chronic misalignment in these circadian rhythms result in metabolic diseases like obesity, glucose intolerance and diabetes. Our microbiota is amazing and an essential part of us. We can take care of our microbiota by eating healthy whole foods, avoiding processed junk food and following a regular feeding routine. In turn, our microbiota will thank us by taking care of us.